Hi and welcome to the Neuroscience Information Framework tutorial. Um, here we're going to start by, um, this is a, a web portal that um, is freely accessible, there's no login necessary and it has uh, about 170 databases that are uh, put under one uh, portal so that anyone can query all 170 all at the same time with one search term. So here we're going to ask about the hippocampus because we like the hippocampus and the first thing that we notice is that um, we autocomplete to the various hippocampus terms, including right here we have one that's um, called the anatomical structure, it happens to be the one that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that hippocampus, hit the search button, and what's happening here is that this is a recognized term, which means that it has an ontology representation. That means that you can bring back all of the synonyms that are known about this hippocampus and it also has parts. So there are obviously also parts of the hippocampus which you can select in the query as well. And now once that's done we can actually look through all the different kinds of data that we know about the hippocampus. So there are brain regions, there are genes that are somehow present in the hippocampus from the different databases. Uh, there are functions of the ner nervous system that are associated with this. So some of the uh, INCF node uh, data is here, like for example from Visiome, this is from the Japan node. CRCNS is also an I um, INCF paper, or uh, excuse me, a project. Uh, obviously the Allen Institute data, brain maps, uh, CCDB, the cell image library and others are um, also uh, present here. These take a little bit of uh, time to load up because they're loading from the uh, cell image library which is not in, uh, not in Europe so it takes a little while to load those. But in any case, every piece of data that we have uh, will have a certain amount of metadata that we search but then it leads back to the actual site itself where you can see not just the image um, here of the hippocampus but a longer description and whatever else that that site actually happens to have for that piece of data. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this very very quick tour um, and please let us know if uh, you would like to know anything about either the kind of things that are available, the kinds of literature about a particular uh, concept, um, or the kinds of data that are associated. Thank you.